Hello friends, I'm Naishek from blogtoot.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, we'll see the process of choosing the right and the perfect niche for your dropshipping website business. Now choosing the right niche for your website is very very crucial in dropshipping business. This is really important and at the same time it is really difficult as well. Okay, So in this video we'll try to uh, see how you can select a perfect niche for your website. So this is about uh, some tips and tricks that can help you to select the right niche. Okay, So let's get started and before proceeding further make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. With that being said, let's get started. So the first step is doing some initial research. Okay, so we can browse some really popular stores like Amazon, eBay and AliExpress and we can see what are the products that are most uh, popular in this week or in this month, what are the products that are uh, selling a lot and so on. So let me give you three uh, different uh, websites that you can go and you can see uh, how, how your product what product you can choose and some ideas about your niche. So the first and the most important one is AliExpress. So what you can do, don't type in AliExpress.com, type in bestselling.aliexpress.com. So once you type in that, you will be redirected to this section. Now as you can see over here, we'll see top selling products over here. And this is the first one, the tempered glass for iPhone X. And as you can see the price over here is not even a dollar per bag it is not per piece it is per bag and it has sold more than 70,000 in the last week on just in seven days it has sold 70,000 and you can see some many different products over here like this Xiaomi phone these bracelets and so on and these are really selling well like you know we have 28,000 per week and 25,000 sales per week and so on or if you have decided to go with a certain category for example if you have decided to go only with men category or kids category baby category health and beauty category you can select the product or you can see the product according to your category for example here we have health and beauty so let's click on this, this category now if you see over here you'll see the products which are most selling in this category like uh, i don't know this girl stuff all these things okay uh, i don't know all this what these things are this brush they do makeup with and all these things so nail polish and so on so you can sell these products you can see that these products are really selling well okay so these are the so once you see these products you get a better idea okay fine so i can sell this i can get into this niche and so on okay so you can get the idea from this website you have different categories this is kids and baby you have these things you know you can see the price is very low and they are selling really well so this is the first website that you can go to bestselling.aliexpress.com the second website that you, that you can go to is amazon.com slash best sellers okay now i am into baby section so let's just go to best seller section all right so here we have first we have toys and games and you will see these this is the f number one thing under toys and games this usb charger i guess and we have some different games then you have electronics and these are the different things that are selling most in this category camera video games whatever category you want to again if you want to go to babies category you can select from here the baby category and here you can see these things are really selling well for example if you see over here this is bottle brush and it is uh, selling at four dollars so you can select these things if you're going into baby category you can select these things like this baby banana infant training toothbrush and so on now there are many different products this will give you a very you know nice idea about what you can choose what products you want to sell and whether if you want to sell the baby category whether there are many different products available or not so that will give you a very good idea okay so this was the second website the third website is ebay.com slash deals so here you will see the top selling products the top selling deals on ebay again many different products over here you can see the featured deals you can see the trending deals that are going you can see the category over here the tech category fashion category home and garden sports category and other categories okay so let's click on this fashion category and under fashion category because fashion category is a very big category so you can you can't just you know focus on one fashion category that is a very big category drop shipping business is all about selecting a niche and going as narrow as possible okay so under fashion you can go for watches okay so you will see these different watches are really selling well so you get a better idea about what kind of watches to sell and so on 
okay so this was the initial research this is going to be your first uh, step okay to do some initial research there are many more uh, websites and many more uh, places to go that you can search for but these are the top three places that you can go and see what are the different products available you, you'll get a better idea about your niche okay now this was the first step initial uh, search now let's go to the next step now next step we have to see is whether this product is trending or not whether people are looking for this product on internet or not so the best place to see that is google.com slash trends or you can type in trends.com trends.google.com okay when you do so you'll be landed on this page now once you have selected some uh, uh, product from here for example you have selected something from here then you can see and search that product over here to see whether the product which you have selected is trending or not whether people are looking for uh, that product on the internet or not for example uh, we can search for something like uh, let's search for cat just let's first search for cat okay now as you can see it is a very stable trend okay we don't see any down any any high now this is for past 12 months now we can see past five years so let's see now if you see past five years also the trend is very you know it's just stable so we what we can do we can just change this thing and we can go into more narrow niche so we can select like uh, cat pajamas maybe let's uh, select this one now as you can see this is a better one okay in five years you can see there is some hike over here okay in this year we, we see some hike so you can say, see the trends whether these products are trending or not and you can also see the category the country which is interested in this product okay so for suppose you you are selling to you're planning to you know sell all the cat products like cat pajamas cat uh, cap and all those different cat hoodie and so on so you can target this country here you, you see the number one country searching for these kind of uh, thing is uk so you can target uk okay and you see some related topics over here like grumpy cat shirt clothing under cat okay uh, here we have re uh, related queries and so on just make sure whatever you're selecting whatever product you have selected you see a nice stable uh, thing over here stable trend or a upward trend don't select a product that is showing a downward trend okay we don't want to do that okay so the next step the first step was initial research first do some research and select a product and the second step what was this one whatever product you have selected in the first step search for the trend search whether that product is trending whether the product is going upwards or it is doing going downwards or it is a stable product okay now let's move on to the third step now in the third step we have to see the competition of course it is almost impossible to find a popular niche with a good trend but without competition so before launching your dropshipping we uh, website store it is strongly recommended that you search for similar web stores on the internet if you find several popular websites offering the same products especially with good prices with competitive prices you should probably think about finding another niche and product which are generally harder to find obviously there is no point in creating another generic shoes car parts or gardening stores it is better to take a narrow niche and try to be creative there are many different reasons or many different uh, benefits you can say of say, going narrow to select a narrow niche the first is when you when you narrow your niche you get a better understanding about what you're going to sell okay the second thing is that it's easier to rank higher in search engines results for particular search items because if your website is only about particular thing like uh, we have seen in the previous examples cat necklace cat pajamas cat shirts then it is very easy or not very easy but a uh, uh, comparatively more easy for you to rank higher in you know search results then the third one is due to your speciality people will be ready to come to you again and again because you're the one in their mind okay so because your your website your store is all surrounding or uh, this cat thing wh wh whoever loves this cat thing they will remember your website okay so this website was good it, it was selling all the products that i'm interested in and they will remember your website for a long time it is really helpful the fourth thing is that it is always easier to focus on one audience and plan your marketing strategy okay so you can uh, it's, it, it, it explains the point that you have a very limited audience and you can focus on them and you can uh, plan your marketing strategy accordingly 
now the fourth step is to see uh, whether the product uh, that you that you have selected is uh, in stock or not whether the product that you have selected has different varieties or not okay because we don't want to end up selling only cat caps okay a website selling only cat caps that would be not a very good idea we want to uh, you know expand that a bit okay so we, we suppose we have selected this cat or maybe some different thing like sonic people like sonic so you know sonic cap sonic uh, shirts sonic hoodies and so on so once you have selected that product you can go to aliexpress.com because that is the most uh, famous drop shipping website okay and by the way if you want to learn how to create a drop shipping website step by step you can see a link in the video description below click on that link uh, there is a three hours long video step by step you can create your own drop shipping website from scratch okay so suppose you have selected some uh, product category what you can do you can come to aliexpress and search for that for example let's search for cat and if you see over here the cat category has around 2 million results which is a very good thing which means that this thing has a lot of products okay we have different cat styling cat, cat eyeglass eyeglasses cat toy cat bed cat t-shirt and so on cat ring cat socks so there is a lot of variety and lot of products available for this particular niche or this particular category so this is uh, another step to check the stock to check the results to check the you know different varieties and different products available now once you have checked the different stocks available after that what we can do we have to compare the price because see whatever price whatever product you're going to sell that product is probably you know it will be available on maybe amazon and so on so you have to see the price if the product which is which you're you know uh, importing from aliexpress is ten dollars and amazon is also selling that product on ten dollars then why will anyone come to your website to you know, purchase the same product for the same price so that is not uh, going to do so what we have to do we have to select for we have to now the next step is to see the price difference okay so first let's go to amazon and let's search for something called cat necklace okay now if you see over here there are many cat necklaces available and the price you can see 26 dollars 24 dollars okay and these uh, things are also having you no know, decent ratings so our product that you are going to search on aliexpress has to be you know, at a lower price so let's come over here let's search for cat necklace again all right so if you see over here we have a better necklaces over here okay and the price is also so much different in fact if you see this one now this is the exact thing that we've uh, searched over here okay as you can see this is the exact necklace this is 26 dollars and you're getting this thing on aliexpress for around two dollars okay so this is a very good sign that okay fine so you can sell this product easily for 10 20 dollars okay because it is selling for 26 dollars on amazon you can easily sell this for 15 dollars on your website so you're getting a very nice margin on this product so the next step that uh, this step in this step you have to select and you have to search for the pricing the pricing of your product has to be you know very competitive with amazon because people don't want to go to amazon and see okay i'm getting the same product at a lower price because at the end of the day people are seeing the price okay so this is also a very crucial step now the last step is to see the keyword planner so what you can do you can open a new tab and type in keyword planner okay uh, go to google type in keyword planner you will see this uh, this link adword link adword.google.com click on that link and let's start using keyword planner all right guys now as you can see this is how it will look and obviously first it will ask you to create a website or to create an account on adword so you can do that easily within few minutes i have already done that so if you go to this thing here you'll see this go to link click on go to and search for keyword planner over here you'll see this keyword planner click on keyword planner now here you have to enter that keyword so that you can see what is the monthly search what is the monthly number of people who are searching on google for this product for example if you search for cat obviously this is a very huge uh, very common uh, uh, keyword so it will have a lot as you can see it is around 1 million to 10 million people are monthly searching for you know cat uh, kind of thing and if you go in more detail like let's select uh, 
cat maybe necklace let's see cat necklace let's go to get results okay now as you can see around uh, 10,000 people are searching for this product, product cat necklace cat jewelry cash pendant then you have different things over here okay so these uh, this is the number of people you can see the competition is quite high over here you can see the bid over here all these things okay so basically here you have to see the number of people that are searching for your product and that should be a decent amount of people okay a decent amount of people should be looking for your product on google okay now obviously there is a better way to market your product people are really earning good uh, and they are getting a very b better and positive results on facebook marketing facebook strategic marketing if i get a chance i may create a video on how to you know run different facebook ad campaigns and how to target people for your dropshipping business if i get a time in the future I'll try to create a video on that okay but here you can see the uh, what are uh, the amount of people monthly search competition and the price for this one okay guys I think this is it for this video and there could be many more tips and tricks like don't try to sell products like glass and so on for because your product is ultimately getting uh, imported from China and you don't want any you know product like that that will get you into problem okay so product is getting imported from china to maybe india uk and that product if it is a glass thin glass there are very high chance that uh, there are very high chances that it may get broken and so on and also try to avoid products like knife and so on because in custom you might see some problem okay because if a knife is imported uh, from China to some country and if that country has some rules against that then you could be a problem you could be in a problem okay so avoid using uh, these kind of product on uh, on your dropshipping business website okay all right guys so this is it for this video I hope you guys find this video helpful I hope this tips and tricks help you guys to search your perfect niche okay uh, if you if you find this video helpful give a thumbs up to this video if you have any doubt any questions any comments any queries any suggestions for me leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to click on that red subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos with that being said thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon